Oh, what is going on, people? Welcome back to Jake's journey, mate. Today, we're gonna go camp on a roundabout using the bike. So here we've got the roundabout and it's called Countess Roundabout, it's on Ainsbury Bypass. So this roundabout, if you look at it now, as I'm zooming in, you've got this entrance here and that's where I pull the bike into and end up hiding it in the woods. Let's move to that now and I can show you on the ground. The only reason I couldn't show you with drone footage was because when I got there, I tried to throw the drone up, but being in an air restriction zone meant that I couldn't use it. So we've resorted to using Google Maps, let's do it. in through here this uh this area is quite busy for like cops cutting about and stuff like that so i'm gonna hide the bike now and then we're gonna try and delve into this woodland here i'm filming on the phone guys i haven't had time to get the camera out yet it's a bit sketchy <laughs> like trying to maneuver in here because it's such a busy roundabout i'm gonna have to cam the bike up and uh, try and disguise it. That's the way I came in on this little junction road there. I found this big electrical container and I've just propped the bike up against it here. Uh, the side stand was sinking into the ground. I've had to push this old road cone that I found underneath. I've heard that the police stay in here regularly and use it as a spot to uh, try and catch people out. So I need to try and camouflage it from them. And also right there, there's a camera and it's one of those surveillance ones that spins like 360. So I need to try and keep out of the way of that. Right, so I've pretty much made the entire bike completely disappear using this stuff. And it's the kind of stuff that you use as a kid to, uh, you know, you throw it at your friend and, and it just gets stuck to the back, that stuff. I've got it all over my gloves. I'm covered in it. I'll show you, it's pretty camouflaged in quite well now. Right, so that's the bike now, completely covered in it. Cammed up, a little bit there, by the end of the bar is. Just trying to keep it concealed as we can. I think that's pretty successful. So if we get anything from up there, from that camera, or the police are just parked here or something, I think we're gonna be pretty covered there. Right, let's get in there before it gets dark and go and set up the tent. <sighs> get out, can't get it off me. Right, safety first, let's go. Got myself back to the day sack. Let's go and find a decent spot. It's getting pretty dark already. It's quite light out here for me to see, but it's a bit harder with the camera. So I've got the light on top, which is kind of giving me away at the minute because I'm quite exposed here and I've got cars that way that can see me and cars that way that can see me. I'm using the Lanshan one. Let's set that up now. Yo, and there we are. I've got to be careful because, because I'm quite exposed. They can see me from both sides and I'm scared that the police are going to come around and try and have me. Tent's up. Let's get the stuff inside and let's get inside it. I'm using that a rubber mat. Therm rest as well because I want that underneath it just so I don't pop it because it's quite spiky around here. I don't even know what this tent looks like from the outside. <laughs> because it's white, it's probably just turned into a massive dome of light. I've got the firm rest laid out now. I've got my British Army jungle issued sleeping bag. Got my helmet down there. Warm kit just in case I get cold in that because it's not the thickest. And although it says that it's going to be 13 degrees tonight, I don't know if I trust it. <laughs> Water bottle, phone, mug. Because I'm having myself a hot chocolate in a minute. Instant Cadbury's one. Nice. Headphones, just because I'm expecting it to be quite loud tonight, so I'll wear these if it gets too loud and annoying. I've got my pasta down here. I was going to heat that up, but I'm just going to eat it cold, I think, because it's getting on. I just want to eat some food and have a brew. Got my jet boil there, I'm going to be using that. And yeah, all groovy. I'm going to have a quick look, actually, see how much this light lights up the tent from the outside. It's going to have a gander. <sighs> I've just absolutely schoolboyed it. 
So I've just been talking to camera for a while, just being like, yeah, just going to eat my pasta. It's always a good idea to check your camera settings, <laughs> because I was on slow motion. All I was going to say about food was, sometimes if you haven't got the, the time or the effort, just bring some pre-cooked food that you made earlier, heat it up in your jet boil and crack on with it. I didn't end up heating it up in the jet boil because I was going to have a brew. I then didn't end up having a brew because there was loads of pasta there and I feel quite full. And I'm going to get myself to sleep shortly, so... I didn't want to um I didn't want to ever stodge myself. It did go through a quiet stage of the road, but it seems to have livened back up again now and you can probably hear that. But yeah, um it's as expected. We are on a roundabout after all. I was having a scan about earlier for a camping spot and I thought, you know what? I might as well go roundabout here. <laughs> yeah, dad jokes. Pillow wise, I've got my Vango. Can't remember what it's called. Check out my last video. It's about my gear. Not my last video. Last but one video about my ultra lightweight backpacking outload which is that that's in it so go have a look at that it's quite late now it's about 11 10 past 11 i think quarter past 11 so i'm gonna have a quick read and then um i'm gonna hit the sack oh the wim hof method good book so far enjoying it been doing my cold showers for about 20 days now not taking me that long to read it i just got into it before buying the book and then uh, i bought the book and Found out the reasoning for it. It's a good, good idea. I'm going to read that and get me a down. Thanks for joining me tonight. Been a pleasure. I'll see you on the morns. Night. <laughs> Yo, morning, gang. It was a very noisy one. Who'd have thought of sleeping on a roundabout? <sighs> right, all I'm going to do now is pack up, get all this away, and um, pull the bike out. I don't think it rained last night, but it, everything is pretty drenched. I think it might just be this morning fog. But yeah, right, I'm gonna get this away and then we'll shoot off. That's the lunch and one away. Oh, right, that's me packed up. Always leave no trace. Only flat grass. Um, yeah. So that's all we've left. Just a flat bit of grass here. And now we're gonna move out over there. I hope the bike's still there. I'm not really fussed about getting caught now because I'm leaving. What are we gonna do? Let's go. Right, so that's it gang, we've just got ourselves out of the area. That's the roundabout down there. So yeah, that's been quite successful I think. We didn't have any trouble. Wild camp on a roundabout, using the motorcycle, completed it. Sorry about the road noise, you can't really get rid of it when you're sat on a roundabout. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, it's been a pleasure as always. And yeah, let me know if you want to uh, see any more bike content, more van content and camping content coming soon. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. 6.25, I've got to go to work. <laughs>